Welcome to today's session on Inawera Easy Workflow. Let's take a quick minute to review how Inawera Easy Workflow works, and then we will jump into our product demo. Inawera Easy Workflow is a server-based Excel solution in which workflows can be triggered by a person, system, or email. Inawera Easy Workflow operates from a server. Most of our customers run Inawera Easy Workflow from a server stored on-premise in their environment. But if desired, Inawera Easy Workflow can be installed on and operated from your choice of cloud server. Instances of Excel reside on the server. Once a workflow is triggered, various alerts are automatically generated and users are assigned their work items. Steps can be linear or parallel and can also be automated. Connections can be made to SAP during the process to upload to or download data from SAP using either automated or manual processes. Or workflows can exist completely outside of SAP when data needs to be shared or collaborated on and touching SAP is not needed. Today, we will walk through a create supplier workflow. For this example, we will use a manual process in Excel to initiate the workflow, but processes could also be initiated from a web form or by sending an email or by systems. Right from Excel here, in the Process Runner Excel add-in tab, we will press the Start Workflow button. From this pop-up here, we are able to choose from a number of Excel templates which reside on the Inawera Easy Workflow server. On the right side here are various workflows associated with these templates. Let's select our desired Create Supplier template. Once we do this, on the right side, the workflows have filtered to the workflow associated with this template. Let's click on this Visio diagram and view the details of the business process for this workflow. The first step will be for the initiator of the workflow to input data into Excel. The second step will be an automation process to test the data against SAP, ensuring that the data is compliant with SAP rules. Inware Easy Workflow allows for several types of data validation processes. Data governance rules can be configured outside of SAP, either at an Excel local level, at a script level through Process Runner, or through a centralized process utilizing the Inware Control Panel. Our website, Inware.com, has more detailed information on the Inware Control Panel and means of implementing data governance on top of standard SAP data rules. For this particular workflow, we will just be testing the data against SAP rules. But this could be an automated step to test the data against our additional data governance rules, as well as our SAP rules. In step three, the workflow item will automatically route to the appropriate manager based on a value in our Excel spreadsheet. In this case, it will route based on the company code inputted by the user in step one of this workflow. In step four, the data will be uploaded manually to SAP. Steps five and six are automated processes, which will automate the upload of work item reports and supporting documentation to SAP for this workflow. This Visio diagram is translated into six easy workflow steps. We'll take a look at this later as the workflow progresses. Let's press the Start button now and get started. This pop-up asks if we want to open the workflow item now and start working on it. If we click no, we can work on it later, but we will click yes to get started now. Now our Excel work item has popped up and we can click on this magnifying glass to view the instructions for this first workflow step. At this stage, we are responsible for inputting data in the Excel spreadsheet and we can attach any needed supporting documents. Notice that we can overwrite the existing data in our template with our desired data. Let's deliberately type an error here under Vendor Account Group and click Approve Work Item and then click Approve. This will advance our workflow to step two, the auto test run step. Let's check our email inbox and review the various auto email alerts that the designers of the workflow have implemented to keep users up to date on the status and progress of the workflow. Workflow designers can select from a variety of auto response email alert templates and then tweak and modify those templates and have Inaware Easy Workflow send out alerts at any point in the workflow. We have received this email alert stating that the auto SAP run task has started. Our second email alert informs us that there has been an error. Let's minimize our email 
And from the Process Runner Excel add-in plugin, we can click on the Inaware Easy Workflow inbox. The Inaware Easy Workflow inbox resides on the Inaware Easy Workflow server and is separate from our email inbox. Let's select our Create Supplier Vendor work item. And then if we right click on our mouse from this menu, we can select Work Item Status. From the Work Item Status, we can see each step of the workflow and who they are assigned to. We can also see if each step is within its expected run duration. This allows for full SLA reporting. If we click on Detail Status, we see that in the first iteration of the auto-validate step, an error was encountered, and that explains why the work item has been automatically routed back to step one. Let's close this and double click on the work item to bring up the Excel spreadsheet. Here in Excel, we can see that the auto test run has detected the error in our vendor account group data. Let's correct the data. And before we move on by approving this workflow step, let's select support documents and then push add and select files. Now we will select a sample W9 form and click save. This will upload this W9 form to the Inaware Easy Workflow server. And later in step six, this W9 form will automatically be uploaded to SAP. Now we will click on approve work item and if desired can enter a brief note and then click approve once more. Going back to our email inbox, we receive an email alert letting us know that the auto test run has started. We now receive the alert that the auto test run has been successful and now the third person in the workflow has received an email alert letting them know they have been assigned a workflow step. If we click on this link here from our email and we are connected to our company's network, we can access the work item. At this step, the Excel spreadsheet is locked as the designer of the workflow has determined that the end user at this step in the workflow should not be allowed to manipulate the data in the Excel spreadsheet. If the manager clicks on supporting documents, they can click on the glasses icon and view the W9 attachment. If they need to approve or reject at this stage, they simply click on the appropriate link Pushing Save will check in the document, but not advance it to the next step, while pushing Approve or Reject will advance it to the next step. For this example, let's exit out of Excel, which will automatically save and check in the work item, but will not advance it to the next step. We are going to go back to our email, and from here, look at the option that the manager has if they are not connected to the company network. If they have an iOS or Android device with Excel capability, they can always view the Excel file as an attachment and can then approve or reject right from email. The manager in this case simply needs to push approve and if desired, they can type in a comment or just click send and quickly make the approval. For the sake of this walkthrough demo, an out of office has been set up for each of the users. So this email account is receiving all of the email alerts for each of the users in the process. Here's an email alert letting us know that the manager approval has been successfully processed via email. This email alert has been assigned to test user one, the user responsible for step four of the workflow. Now we will click on the link here and bring up the work item. Playing the role of test user one, we can click on workflow status and see that step three was approved via email from this icon here. And that step three was not completed within its expected time frame, but overall our workflow is still within SLA. Also, as we hover over step three, here next to user comment, we can see the note from the manager that the data is good. If we attempt to enter data, the Excel spreadsheet is locked for this stage of the workflow. Inaware Easy Workflow allows for the entire Excel spreadsheet to be locked or for certain cells or for certain columns in Excel to be locked at any stage in the workflow. Let's click on the Process Runner Excel add-in tab 
where we have access to the Run option as indicated in our step instructions. Let's click Run, log into SAP. Now the XK01 Create Supplier Process Runner Automation Script embedded in this Excel file executes. Within Aware Easy Workflow, Process Runner Automation Scripts, which are properly linked to the Excel template, can be executed at various points in a workflow. Data can be uploaded or downloaded from SAP and even tested against SAP as we did in step two. The designers of the workflow can determine at which step the process runner automation scripts can be executed at and if they should be executed manually or automatically. Now that the script is finished, we can click on the Show an SAP GUI link and our SAP GUI pops up. After logging in SAP, we can view the data on the supplier we just created in SAP. Let's click Approve Work Item and Approve. Now our workflow advances to Step 5. Let's go back to our email inbox. Step 5 is an auto process, so this email alert lets us know that the auto task to generate work item reports has started. These work item reports will automatically be uploaded to SAP in the next step. Here's an email alert letting us know that the vendor has been successfully created in SAP, which was done in Step 4. Here is an alert letting us know that step five has completed. This alert for step six lets the global administrator know that the auto process to upload the work item reports and our sample W9 form has started. Finally, this last email here to the global administrator as well states that the workflow has been completed. Our vendor has been created in SAP and the following documents have been uploaded to SAP. Now let's click on the link here, which will allow us to view our Excel file in read only mode. Let's go to the Process Runner Excel add-in tab and click on Show an SAP GUI. And here in SAP, let's select Attachment List. We have our W9 form, which was uploaded to SAP, as well as a copy of the Excel file and our work item report and a Gantt chart report. Let's take a quick look at our work item report. Let's just enlarge this a bit. Here we have the full details of the work item. We have each of the steps, the digital fingerprints, as well as a list of the documents uploaded to SAP during the workflow. Our W9 form. Let's look at the Gantt chart as well. Here we have a visual display of the time expected and the actual time taken to complete each of the steps. This concludes our quick overview and walkthrough of a Create Supplier workflow. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to learn more about Inawera Easy Workflow, please visit our website at inawera.com where we have other videos demonstrating features of Inawera Easy Workflow.